Oregon State University is a leading public research university on the west coast of the United States. So if you aren't familiar with the state of Oregon, it's just right above California. And we're in a really nice location about 45 minutes away from the Pacific Ocean. Um, STEM degrees are stands for science, technology, engineering, and math, and they're typically very popular with international students because you get extra opportunity to work in the U.S. after graduation. Usually you get one year of OPT, which stands for Optional Practical Training, and that's just work experience in the U.S., um, but if you are studying a STEM designated degree, then you get three years work experience. So if you are interested in working in the U.S., um, definitely check out, you know, some of the degrees at ISU that Whitney was talking about or here at Oregon State. Why choose Oregon State? And at OSU, we are really um, focused on our return on investment. We know that education is expensive. Studying abroad can be expensive. And we will talk about, you know, scholarships and all of that a little bit later. But I can assure you that Oregon State University is going to prepare you in your degree to get a job after graduation. That is our main focus. And because of that, um, our graduates are actually in the top 15% of best paid graduates in the United States. And when it comes to job opportunities, um, I don't think I've showed you guys the map yet of where we're located. So I'm going to quickly point you out, point us out here. So Oregon State University is located in Corvallis, Oregon. This is our main campus here where all of our um, graduate programs are located. Students typically fly into Portland, Oregon um, when they first arrive. Uh, and then they take an airport shuttle down to Corvallis and we arrange all of that transfer information for them. So the pre-arrival process is super easy because we'll help you with all of that. But here in Corvallis, we actually have an HP campus and this campus is super cool because it's actually one of the campuses that develops a lot of new products. And so there's a lot of innovation going on at this HP campus here. Um, in Portland, there are so many different companies. There's corporate headquarters of Nike, for example, um, you know, Intel, there's a Mercedes Daimler office, a Google office, Adidas, IBM, just to name a few. There are so many more um, companies that I couldn't even fit on this slide here. Um, just a little farther north in Seattle, you might be familiar with um, these companies as well. You know, there's Microsoft based there. There's also Boeing office, Starbucks headquarters. Um, and then, of course, down in San Francisco, just a little bit farther south, there's all of the companies that that you're very familiar with as well. So there's a lot of opportunity on the West Coast. But we actually have over 580 students that are doing OPT across the U.S., so in 37 different states. So you can come to Corvallis, you know, get a great education, and then you can, you know, spread out to different areas. And um, I know Whitney was talking about the affordability of um, ISU earlier, and I wanted to make sure that um, to kind of really hammer in that point, because when it comes to um, your university studies, not only are you going to be looking at the cost of tuition, but the second largest cost is going to be the cost of accommodation and cost of living. So your housing costs. Um, when it comes to really large cities, um, for example, I'm going to pick on San Francisco because everybody knows San Francisco. The cost of a one bedroom apartment in San Francisco is about $2,200 per month for a one bedroom. And here in Corvallis, it's more like 800 US dollars per month, so less than half. You still have access to all of these big cities, you know, after graduation. But while you're still a student, you can save money, you know, going to university and um, on your cost of living here. And no matter what you want to study, there is a program for you here at OSU. When we are talking about STEM designated degrees, it doesn't just have to be engineering or computer science. Um, there's anything from earth sciences to oceanography. Um, we actually have the number three best oceanography program in the world. Um, there's also options in health sciences as well. And if you are interested in business, 
there is still an opportunity for you. You might not think of business when it comes to STEM, but we have an MS business analytics program that's actually STEM designated. So that means you get that three years work experience in the US after graduation. With this MS business analytics degree, um, you can concentrate in supply chain analytics, marketing insights and analytics, financial analytics or finance. And so there's a lot of options for you there. Most popular is typically our supply chain analytics and marketing analytics. So I really encourage you if you're interested in business to check those out. And I do often get a lot of questions about the engineering and computer sciences. So I wanted to focus on some of those degree options as well. As you can see, we have a lot of rankings from our engineering and computer science programs. Um, we have number 68 best computer science program, number seven best robotics, number 43 civil engineering, just to name a few. But really where these rankings come from and why they matter is the content of our degree program. That's how we're really getting these rankings. So the experiential learning that you have during your degree, the support level you get at the academic um, in the academic space here at OSU is also really important to make sure that you are getting the best experience out of your degree so you can get a great job after graduation. And here is an example of some of our experiential learning at OSU in the engineering and computer science fields. Here on the left, this is our CASI robot. So you remember that I was just saying that um, we have the number seven best robotics program in the US? Well, this is an example of that. So CASI is an agile robot that was developed at OSU and CASI has a lot of different uses. So it has been recently adopted into Ford Motor facilities, uh, production facilities in the US. And Ford Motor Company is one of the largest auto manu automobile manufacturers in the United States. So um, what Cassie can do is those tasks that are actually a little bit dangerous for humans to do. Um, Cassie can come in, you know, do those different tasks so people aren't getting injured on the job and they can have those jobs repurposed so people are controlling the robots instead of, you know, being the ones that are doing that um, risky task. Another thing that Cassie can do is um, be used in um, rescue situations. So for example, if there is a building on fire and um, a, they need to go and see if anybody else is in the building, um, they don't have to actually risk a firefighter's life to go in and see if anybody is still in the building. They can send Cassie in, make sure that everyone is out. If somebody is in there, they can send in a firefighter, but they didn't have to risk any additional lives unnecessarily. In the middle here, this is our OSU trigger reactor. It is a test nuclear reactor here on campus. So we actually have the number best, number 11 best <laughs> nuclear engineering program in the United States. And um, with our nuclear engineering program, not only do you get to learn on about how to operate a, a nuclear engineering facility, but you also get to work a lot with um, other departments. I think this degree is really cool because um, it's very interdisciplinary. For example, um, even our anthropology students work with our nuclear engineering students. And this is because um, anthropology students will um, have different artifacts that they need to find out how old they are. So what they do is they bring the artifacts into the nuclear reactor. They can put them inside the nuclear reactor and with the radiation, they can find out the um, material makeup of that item. And finding out the material and the composite of that item, they can find out how old the artifact is. So um, that's something that's really true at in any program at OSU is the level of interdisciplinary um, work that you have to be, to, between departments. Um, so it's something that you can really look forward to here. Here in the top right, this is our driving and bicycle simulators. And this is going to be mostly for students who are interested in civil engineering or transportation engineering. And the purpose of these are if you, for example, 
want to put in a new bridge or you are you know adjusting a traffic plan or adding a new structure as a civil engineer you need to see how drivers pedestrians and bicyclists are going to be able to react to that um, it might obstruct the view of a driver but you don't want to spend millions of dollars putting this actually into a city plan without testing it so this way they can test um, you know the structure, the traffic pattern, anything like that to make sure that it's safe for pedestrians, drivers, and bicyclists. And we actually have one of the only bicycle simulators in the world. And the cool thing about this is that's just kind of how Oregon is. We have a lot of bicyclists. It's very, very easy to get around. People really enjoy the outdoors. And so that is something that's taken into account is those bicyclists to make sure that they are safe on the roads as well. And then in the bottom corner here, this is our OH Hinsdale Wave Research Laboratory. So our oceanography students and our civil engineering students typically use this laboratory. And what it is, is it's really studying ocean waves and the effect they have on um, anything from coral reefs to structures and coastal communities. So this uh, this research laboratory can actually simulate a normal waves of the ocean, but it can also simulate tsunami waves that affect coastal communities around the world. And as we know with climate change, um, there are more of these different types of events, and this is even more important to study. So this is not something that you can actually study on the real ocean because there's no way to simulate anything in the real ocean environment. So it's really cool to have this where, you know, they can actually control different aspects and um, collect data that they can then apply to any of their um, uh, knowledge about the ocean and how it affects different coastal communities. In any degree program that you're in, there's going to be an opportunity for you to um, actually learn by doing. We don't want you to just be sitting in the classroom and listening to professors lecture all day. Of course, you are going to have some of those classes and they are very valuable to learn, you know, from the professor's own experiences and, um, you know, all of the knowledge you need to know in the industry. But it's also important to have these types of experiential learning um, activities so you can put them directly on your resume. This is actually a, a way that you can build out your resume to look for internships and full time positions. If you don't have a lot of work experience, you know, straight away, maybe you're coming directly from a bachelor's degree going into a graduate program. That's OK. We can help you build out your resume. You know, these are all very unique things that you can put on a resume that are going to look really attractive to companies that are hiring for internships or full time positions. Whatever university you go to, even if it's not OSU, make sure you get involved on campus. There are opportunities to get involved in academic clubs and also get involved in different cultural organizations and, you know, fun hobby clubs and all of that. But the academic clubs are really important because, again, it's building out that resume, making sure that you are um, really attractive to companies so you can get those jobs that you are interested in. And we have clubs in robotics. Um, there's um, a robotics club that works on the Mars on a Mars rover, um, an underwater rover as well, drone racing. This is really cool because you don't have to actually be in robotics program to be part of the robotics club. We have business students in there. We have computer science, um, you know, mechanical engineering. There's actually a place for you if you're interested in robotics to be part of that club. We also have um, uh, business focused clubs like the supply chain management or analytics club. That's with the two types of students that are in this club. Um, also the OSU entrepreneurship club and many, many more. So <laughs> there's going to be something for you and no matter what um, um, interest that you have because we have over 400 clubs and organizations here at OSU. When it comes to the OSU student experience, it is a really, really great place to live and study. Um, the OSU is based, as I mentioned, in Corvallis, and Corvallis is a university town. So it is um, really 
focused around the student experience. It's very easy to get around. We have a free public uh, city bus that can take you anywhere around campus or around the city and the um, surrounding area. Um, it's very walkable as well. You can actually walk to our downtown with the restaurants and coffee shops and all of that in about 10 minutes from campus. So very, very easy to get around. Um, we also have about 29 dining locations across campus that have anything from um, halal food to you know vegetarian, vegan options, gluten-free, anything that you could possibly need. Um, but we also have all those options around the city as well. We have you know um, Asian markets where you can find all the spices you need to make um, um, food from back home and all of that. Um, we also have um, a mosque near to campus as well and even prayer rooms and things like that on campus um, just so you feel very comfortable here and it feels like you're home away from home um, you can get involved in different cultural associations like our indian students association for example um, that's very very active on campus um, they help students with arriving it's it's a great um, community and they even celebrate different events like for example they throw color for holy every year and they can bring in um, the rest of the osu community to really share um, their culture as well as you know get to know the american culture as well <clears throat> 